Hey guys, and welcome to the Godot plugin of the week. This is a new series that I'm starting where I'm basically just going to shout out a Godot plugin every week that I think is useful. So for the first episode, we have this Godot Inspector Tabs plugin. So this is something I saw on Reddit actually like a few months ago, and I just got around to like actually making this video. But some of you might have seen this. It basically adds tabs to your Godot Inspector that make it behave a bit more like Blender. So when I first saw this, I was like, not too sure about it because I personally don't really like the Blender Inspector, but looking at it from like a Godot point of view, this makes a lot more sense logically for me. So some of you might prefer this, some of you might not. If you want to install this, I have the link in the description for the GitHub. Um, literally just click the code button, download the zip file. Or if you want, you can obviously go to the asset library in Godot, click on Inspector Tabs, and this is the exact same thing. It's just gonna automatically install it for you, obviously. But once it's installed, just make sure that you have the folder inside of your add-ons folder in Godot. So I have a lot of plugins here, but you're going to get this inspector tabs folder. So once this is in your project, just go to project settings at the top, go to the plugins tab, enable the plugin. And now we can kind of test this out. So whenever I click on an object, my inspector panel is going to look a bit different. And it literally just groups all the properties of each class into separate tabs. So you can see my world class here has some basic things like the name of the world, the background music, but it's not cluttering my inspector with all of the trivial like node properties. So I don't have like the script process. I typically don't really change these anyways so it's always just cluttering my inspector so i feel like having these tabs is actually kind of cool so i really like the plugin i do want to hear your guys's thoughts on the plugin i can definitely see this being a feature in godot in the future maybe like an option to enable this sort of behavior for the inspector so i'm sure if enough people like this style of inspector it'll probably become a thing if you go to editor settings you can actually scroll down to the plugin settings and then on inspector tabs you can change if you want horizontal tabs or vertical tabs and if you do vertical you obviously can't really read the text so you can just do icons which also looks really cool uh i have to reselect here but this is more like blender style now the one thing i don't like about this is with custom classes so in this case i'm inheriting from the node class it's just going to use the node icon so i would have to actually manually do all of my class icons, which is something I should probably do. But like right now I only have, actually I think in my player, uh, my state machine has its own class icons. So those are still gonna display, obviously. I just noticed there might be an issue with the scaling of the icons, but I guess what I'm saying, I prefer to have the, the text on the top to actually show the class names. But anyways, that's about it. So just wanted to shout it out for the Godot plugin of the week. So again, this was not made by me. All credit goes to PyCode9560. So the link to the GitHub will be in the description, but yeah, all credit goes to this guy. Amazing plugin, I think it's super cool. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this plugin. Does it look cool to you or not? If you have any plugins you'd want to suggest for next week's plugin of the week, drop them in the comments so I can check them out. Again, I'm kind of like testing out this video. I feel like this series could be pretty interesting. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a like if, if you want to see more of this, but the usual tutorial video should be out sometime next week. So you can obviously look forward to that. Anyways, though, have a great weekend and I will see you guys in the next one.